right, welcome back to all you backcountry cooks. This is Dan, your backcountry chef. Got a question for you to, tonight. You ever been on a hike out on the trail and you just want some sweet and something tasty to eat? Well, if you have, we're going to take care of that problem tonight on this video. Uh, if you like our channel, why don't you go ahead and go subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you find out when we post new videos and give us a thumbs up. So tonight what I'm going to be making is a berry crisp. Now this recipe is not mine, it uh, belongs to Chef Corso. If you uh, ever get a chance, go check out his YouTube channel. He takes some backpacking meals and just makes them amazingly good. Uh, he is a classically trained chef and I enjoy taking his recipes and just making them uh, what I can. I apologize that it's uh, dark. Uh, the day has got away from me. I've just been enjoying my time here at Devil's Den State Park and here in Arkansas. And I'm going to go ahead and make this berry crisp for you tonight. So the first thing I'm going to do is to, to tell you what kind of gear I'm using. I'm going to be using the firebox uh, scout. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my headlamp here so that you can kind of see what um, the gear, gear set up here. Um, it's going to be using the firebox scout with the Trangia butane burner. I'm going to go ahead and get that lit up. And I am going to put on about six ounces of water. I'm going to turn that, turn that burner down to about medium. In my uh, titanium backpacking stove, I'm going to add about eight ounces of just dried fruit uh, of any kind into my bowl or my pot. And then I am going to add uh, two tablespoons of sweetener. I'm choosing to use stevia. We're going to give that all a, a stir. Let it cook up for about five to ten minutes until things get While this is cooking, um, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about the headlamp that I am using. Um, it is a headlamp by Sumblesa, and uh, they sent that to me um, to review. And so far, I just I really like it. It's very lightweight. It's very comfortable. Um, it has one, two two different modes on that side and then this side it's got one two white modes and then a red mode for, for low light uh, one of the things that i really do like about this um, about this headlamp is that it you can lock it so that uh, by pressing the button on the top that way if uh, it's in your backpack and you're you don't have to worry about it being accidentally uh, turned on and running down your battery. It's rechargeable. Um, I will add a link to uh, this product on Amazon uh, in the description below. And so far, I'm just, I really enjoy this. I'll also give you a link to their website as, as well. These are hydrating really nicely. This is just a really quick, easy um, dessert to be able to do uh, that you can enjoy. Um, and once this uh, gets done cooking, I'm going to add 
some granola to the top of it and a little bit, about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar um, to it as well. stirring this so that you don't burn it to the bottom. It's getting pretty close. Being ready. You don't want to boil this. Still got a little bit to go. Alright, I think we're about done here. Get letting this warm up. Um, I didn't mention that the dried fruit that I'm using is a combination that I can buy at the, the local grocery store that is uh, dried cherries and golden raisins. I, uh, just one of my favorites. But you can really use any kind of dried fruit. I would just say to, um, to use a medley. Don't just use one type of fruit. So now that we're uh, pretty much done, I'm going to put about... I don't I know, about two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar to cut the sweetness just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and shut my burner off. And then I'm going to stir in about four ounces of granola. I've just got the the, um, just honey, honey, regular honey granola here. This is eight ounces in this bag, so it's just a, about eight, about half of it. Yeah, that should be good. I'll just stir it all together. to try it. it. Smells great. Looks great. I think it's going to uh, take care of that craving for uh, something sweet while you're out on the trail. Mm. Mm. That is really good. Sweet but not too sweet. Got a little bit of crunch. I think if I was just to add anything to it, I would probably add some, maybe a little bit of cinnamon uh, to it, but that definitely will hit the spot. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I appreciate you uh, coming along and watching this latest video for my latest recipe. Again, continue to watch as we do some backpacking meals here at, at uh, Devil's Den in Arkansas. And until next time, get outside and find an amazing place to cook something good. <laughs>